June, uh, I'm sorry, July 1st, 2016, I continue to document the illegal aliens mafia and its ways of uh, eliminating or killing, assassinating American citizens um, via uh, government employees who are placed at the different uh, government positions to or government jobs to uh, abuse uh, the citizens and abuse their power and uh, steal and sell the citizens' identities and government benefits. Um, again, um, this is a sample case which uh, I, uh, you probably have been following uh, and I have full legal permission to um, use this sample case of Luisa Oyarzun. She's an old elderly and chronically ill citizen who worked dozens of years of her life, uh, uh, paid uh, uh, her s uh, social security, uh, paid her taxes, uh, was an excellent citizen, and uh, after a, a second cancer operation and a number of illnesses such as epilepsy, multiple sclerosis and osteoporosis, among other physical illnesses, she became uh, disabled and could not work anymore. Um, the government employees uh, during the uh, Clintons, um, I mean during the uh, Bushes, um, uh, oh, and Obama's administration uh, stole her uh, government benefits, uh, specifically her state pension, uh, and uh, stole her house, her home, uh, located at 54B East Blackwell Street, Dover, New Jersey, uh, 07801 through falsification of uh, mortgage records, uh, legal papers, and court papers. Uh, and after she uh, lost her uh, half a million dollars home, uh, half a million dollar home, uh, uh, she was um, uh, the victim of uh, elderly financial abuse and they stole her uh, New York State pension and uh, her New Jersey, uh, yeah, New York, New York State pension in New Jersey uh, because she worked the last time 12 years uh, at a at Dover nursing home in New Jersey. After that, uh, they have been um, hunting her down and persecuting her. Um, the illegal aliens mafia members working at the Department of Social Services, the Social Security Administration offices, and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services located in Queens, I mean in uh, Jamaica, New York, specifically. Um, and this is a uh, Gorman, I mean, uh, um, a medical office uh, which she went and now in, in uh, which has kidnapped her medical record and she sent uh, them a fax which uh, reads RE uh, your medical office kidnapped my medical records after telling me to give them one of my copies so they can make copies and that they would uh, give it back to me on the 29th of June 2000, uh, 2016. Uh, and uh, it has her address here, as you can see, and it reads a uh, name of sender, Luisa Oyarsun, elderly, disabled, chronically ill citizen and cancer dying patient. Uh, attention, uh, President, CEO, Administrator of Honey of Valley Family um, Medicine, or Family Practice, excuse me. Uh, and the fax number is 585-624-7283. Um, the uh, 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 fax continues to read, uh, Dear CEO, Administrator, uh, uh, Dear CEO or Administrator, and um, it reads, on June uh, of 2016, my caretaker took me to your office to get a doctor's appointment and get medical care. After giving your uh, your staff uh, a copy of my medical records, uh, they refused to give it uh, back to me after canceling my appointment and uh, refusing to see me. Please give me back my medical records uh, or, or a copy of, of it, uh, though. Uh, because she doesn't have any money to any more money to make copies other copies i was never seen at your uh, medical office and now you have my copy of my records kidnapped uh, sincerely luisa yarson and this is uh, her signature okay so this is what's going on in our country uh, it is really an anarchy 
um, during the Obama administration and um, the citizens don't know what to do. Uh, there is no law, uh, uh, the country is full of law lawlessness and the citizens really don't know what to do. They uh, uh, go to the, uh, report this to the pertinent, uh, pertinent federal and state agencies and all they find is criminals at these agencies and they don't do anything regarding uh, what is going on. So after Luisa Oyarsun um, worked all her life and was uh, never supposed to be uh, dealt with by the Department of Social Services, they stole her pension about $4,000 um, per month and other medical, they saw her pension and also other medical, I mean other government benefits about uh, eight, five thousand, uh, four thousand dollars per month and now uh, all she, she has left is um, one thousand eighty five dollars per month and even that uh, a government employees at the Department of Social, at the, the uh, Social Security Administration office told her that uh, they are confiscating the citizens um, the citizens' social security um, disability benefits because they have to administer the social security disability benefits uh, of the citizens, not the citizens themselves. So um, the citizens are going to be on the streets. Um, they they uh, say said uh, the social security administration offices employees that Congress uh, directed them to or passed a law directing them. To confiscate the Social Security Administration, the Social Security Disability Benefits of the citizens. So um, this is what's going on. In these facts, uh, she's um, directing these facts, facts to uh, an uh, an illegal aliens mafia member working at uh, as a government employee, as a state government employee. Her name is Diane Dane, and uh, she is the commissioner of the Department of Social Services in West in uh, Livingston County. Uh, so this fact reads, uh, RE, elderly financial abuse, identity theft and fraud, as well as the trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits. Um, and it has Luis Oyarsson's address there. And this one continues to read, C, uh, CC to Federal Court at the United States District Court, Southern District of New York, uh, docket number 16 VC. 1297 and it says name of sender uh, Luisa Oyarsson, elderly disabled and chronically ill citizen and cancer dying voter. Uh, attention to Ms. Diane, De Ms. Diane M. Middle Initial, Dane, com Commissioner of the Livingston County Department of Social Services. Um, working with uh, who's working with Kevin McGuire Kevin M middle initial McGuire commissioner of the Westchester Department of Social Services um, Kevin McGuire is the, the other illegal aliens mafia member who's trafficking with uh, government with the citizens government benefits and selling these government benefits to illegals in the country after they steal them from the um, citizens when the citizens are old or disabled uh, and uh, I should mention that Luisa Oyarsun's case, uh, Luisa Oyarsun has many cases in Westchester County opened by uh, this illegal aliens mafia member Kevin McGuire. He's telling the taxpayers that she lives there when uh, in reality she lives in Livingston County. And uh, he's pocketing um, hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, from the taxpayers, uh, telling th them that uh, sh he's giving uh, medical care to Luisa Oyarsun, has three different um, home um, uh, home attendants. You know, one from eight o'clock in the morning until four o'clock in the morning, another one from four o'clock to twelve o'clock midnight, and another one from. Uh, 12 o'clock midnight until 8 o'clock in the morning because she's dying of cancer and she's very uh, ill and disabled. Uh, in reality, he's packing he's packing all those hundreds of thousands of dollars and giving uh, certain monies to certain government officials so they look the other way um, and don't uh, uh, prosecute these felonies uh, being done by Kevin McGuire and Miss Diane Dane. Uh, by the way, we reported this to the uh, Attorney General of the State of New York, Mr. Eric T. Uh, middle initial Snyderman, and uh, nothing has been done. We have reported that reported this for years to the uh, said uh, government office, uh, the Attorney General's office. 
Go, uh, moving right along, um, we have the facts and it reads, enclosed, please find my medical bills from uh, when I used to uh, fake, when I used the fake Westchester con uh, County's Medicaid given to me by your uh, dear friend, Kevin McGuire. The same Medicaid that you, your office gave me while my um, false cases are still open in Westchester County after four months of living in Livingston County where I am a registered voter. And let's see what she has here. She has a copy of a bill, uh, as she said, and it is dated uh, June 14th, 2016. It is from Northern Westchester Hospital, as you can see, uh, and it is, uh, it has a PO box here in Boston, Massachusetts, oh, okay. Um, this uh, has uh, a number here, it says 1-800, no, 1-877-766-7840, and okay, it has uh, a balance of four hundred and forty seven dollars and forty four cents and four hundred and ninety two dollars and twenty six cents pay this amount. What happened is that uh, this, uh, the illegal aliens mafia uh, who are government working as government employees at the Department of Social Services, the Centers for Medicare, Medicaid Services, and the Social Security Administration offices. They have this, uh, uh, one of their schemes is to make the citizens believe that they have their medical insurances, but in reality, they are given other medical insurances which uh, does not cover their medical illnesses like their real medical insurances uh, do, uh, but um, they are sold to illegals in the country so they, they can get free medical care uh, courtesy of the taxpayers, the American taxpayers. Uh, and the um, scheme consist, uh, consists of uh, making them believe that they have their medical uh, insurance and they tell them, well, you know, your, medi your Medicaid in this case, in this sample case, is connected from June 1st, 2016 until November 20, uh, 30th, 2016. And what they do is they followed or stalk uh, the uh, citizens uh, when they go to hospitals uh, doctor's office or uh, pharmacies and they contact the pharmacies and uh, tell them to tell the uh, citizens that they have their medical insurances and give them the medication uh, paid by their medical insurances um, and in, in exchange for this favor they uh, pay them with welfare benefits uh, in uh, government jobs for which they don't qualify and um, of course, uh, these government these uh, government benefits, like welfare benefits, are courtes courtesy of the taxpayers. Yes, uh, your money and my money. They pay them with your money and my money. So, um, what uh, uh, ends up happening is that the citizens never get the the medical care that their their uh, real insurances pay for. Uh, and the medical uh, and the medication that their real real insurance uh, paid. For pays for or, or pay for and um, they end up dying and the illegals in the country who are uh, sold who are sold their um, identities they end up uh, assuming these identities and uh, end up with the uh, uh, government benefits uh, including state pensions and disability benefits and everything uh, that belongs to the uh, murdered citizens uh, by the uh, government employees at the three aforementioned uh, government agencies, Social Security Administration offices, Department of Social Services, and uh, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, uh, respectively. Okay, and this uh, this bill was sent to Luisa Ollars on this address, but uh, since uh, she changed her address, um, with the United States Post Office, they were they forwarded this to where she lives now, uh, 1449 Rochester Street, Lima, New York, uh, uh, lot 18. And, and by the way, her new address was given to uh, Kevin McGuire by uh, his dear friend, Miss Diane Dane, without Luisa Oyarsun's uh, permission. Uh, and knowledge or consent.
which is illegal also. Um, the records of uh, the citizens are supposed to be confidential and no government employee uh, without permission is supposed to give it to another government employee. Uh, and much less for trafficking of uh, government benefits. Uh, going back to the uh, this, this one reads, if my New York State straight Medicaid had been used by me and not by the illegals mafia members and the illegals to whom my Medicaid was sold, I, will, I would not have gotten this bill. So this is evidence that uh, they, they are trafficking with her government benefits as with millions of other government benefits uh, of other citizens. Uh, the illegal mafia members working as government employees gave me a false fraudulent medical insurance Medicare Part B uh, for which I do not qualify while uh, they sell, sell my real one. Uh, so as I explained before, they give the citizens uh, any um, medical insurance paid with the taxpayer's money, <laughs> I should uh, emphasize, and they sell the real medical insurances to illegals in the country. So illegals uh, say, oh, um, this is uh, wonderful. We, we are never living in this country where we can get free medical care paid by the fools who pay taxes in this country, the citizens who pay taxes. And this is from uh, Westchester um, Hospital. Okay, this is uh, uh, and Okay, this is the real envelope. Okay. And uh, when she gets this bill uh, and she sends them to the Department of Social Services employees who are paid to process the paperwork for the citizens so they can get their uh, government benefits um, and medical insurances, uh, the, uh, these government employees who are illegal aliens mafia members tell the citizens uh, to keep their bills because they're not going to um, do anything with them and uh, the citizens uh, credit end up uh, being ruined and the citizens then uh, end up uh, being unable to rent an apartment um, lease a car buy uh, get uh, get um, electricity uh, uh, connections or gas, gas connection because their credit is ruined by these uh, government employees and this is uh, what awaits you. And it doesn't matter if you're, an, if you're an attorney, a teacher, a college professor. This is what awaits you if this problem is not solved. Uh, and the problem with Mr. Uh, Eric T. Snyderman is not solved uh, because he has looked the other way for many years. And uh, instead of prosecuting these uh, professional criminals, he goes after uh, black men who are selling guns to support their children, and they have they have their gun uh, pr uh, gun selling uh, permissions, per uh, and uh, they, uh, they Mr. Snyderman goes after them, ruin their lives, uh, take everything away from them, their business, their houses, their homes, and everything and rip them off, uh, strip them off uh, from everything they got while professional criminals like this are defrauding the taxpayers with uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, with millions of dollars every year, if you count it in, year, uh, in years. So we need to do something about that because uh, the Constitution is not only for some uh, to follow, it is uh, for everyone to follow and this is not fair to the American people.